Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the number of points in an envelope in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a synth, and it sounds like this. And I want to add a filter on top that's going to automate. So I'm going to go to the EQ over here and automate this frequency, which is a low pass filter. Now I could do it by creating an envelope and drawing it, but it's a lot easier to just play it or perform it. So I'm going to put this track into touch mode and perform the automation. Now that's pretty much what I wanted, but as you can tell, there's a lot of points in here we don't need. We could simplify this envelope if we really want to. Now in most situations, you don't need to, but if we're going to copy and paste this throughout the song, or maybe save this envelope to use again in other projects, maybe create an automation item right down here, and then save it to use again, you're probably going to want to simplify it. Because basically, it's a pretty simple envelope with a lot of extra points we don't need. So we could right click anywhere and choose reduce number of points, which opens up this dialog. Now by default, we could just choose all points, but if we select some points by right click dragging over here or creating a time selection, we have more options. We can then choose all points, points in time selection, or just selected points. Let's keep it simple and just reduce all the points. So we bring this down, we'll see the points slowly disappear, simplifying this envelope as we go. And if we go too far, we're going to lose the shape. Let's bring it back up so we have all the points we need. That looks pretty good right there. Let's hear it. And that's pretty much what I played or performed. So this is going to work. Now there will be times where it's too complicated and it won't work in one step. So what we can do instead is work in pieces. We could either select section by section and delete them like this. Or we can select multiple sections like this and just keep the points we want. Hold down shift as we do this. And then we can choose reduce number of points and just choose selected points. Then we can bring it down almost all the way and still retain the points we want. Let's do the same thing with a pan envelope. Type in P, but instead of performing this, let's just draw it in. Hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and draw in a pan from left to right, right to left, back and forth. Something like that. And again, if we're happy with this, we just want to simplify it, just right click and choose reduce number of points. And we just reduce all of them like this.
which creates a simplified version of what I drew in. Now we could also do this with actions. Let's create another EQ band, and we'll make this a high pass, bring up the bandwidth, and then we could automate this to go with this one. Now, instead of selecting this envelope, we can just go up to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List. Then we could type in Reduce and see all the actions that apply. We could reduce number of points by half within the time selection or just the selected points. If we choose this, we're just going to open up that dialog that we were working with before. But instead, Let's reduce all the points by half, one at a time. Half, half, half. And if we go too far, just undo it, and we can simplify it that way. Or let's put this back, and instead, let's first select all the points we want to adjust or reduce, and we could do this in pieces. So now, We'll just choose to reduce the selected points by half, one at a time, until it simplifies it as much as possible. And we can always delete points one by one, by holding down Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, and just clicking on each point. And just get rid of the ones we don't need. It just simplifies things if you want to save the envelope, or just reduce the points and get a more perfect performance. So that's how to reduce the number of points in an envelope in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.